You think you know Han Solo? Well, here's 10 things you may not have known about the galaxy's favorite Corellian smuggler. Han Solo. I'm Captain of the Millennium Falcon. Chewie here tells me you're looking for passage to the Alderaan system. Early on in Star Wars' development, Han Solo was a big, green-skinned alien Jedi, had gills, and no nose. Keep your distance, though, Chewie. But don't look like you're trying to keep your distance. I don't know. Fly casual. George Lucas considered casting an African-American to play Han Solo and auditioned Billy Dee Williams, who would later go on to play Lando Calrissian. After deciding that he wanted Han Solo to be white, Kurt Russell, Nick Nolte, and Christopher Walken were brought in to audition. James Caan, Jack Nicholson, Robert De Niro, and Burt Reynolds turned down the role. I love you. In the original script for The Empire Strikes Back, Han was just going to say, I love you too. Harrison Ford didn't like it, so director Irvin Kershner told him to improvise, and Harrison went with, I know. Han Solo is the only non-force trained person to wield a lightsaber on screen. Uh, I thought they smelled bad on the outside. Uh. Harrison Ford wanted Han Solo to die in the first act of Return of the Jedi, sacrificing himself to save Luke and Leia. Screenwriter Lawrence Kasdan agreed, but George Lucas didn't want any of the main cast to die in the film. What good's the reward if you ain't around to use it? Besides, attacking that battle station ain't my idea of courage. It's more like suicide. In the 1997 special edition re-release of A New Hope, the scene with Han and Greedo at the cantina was altered to make Greedo fire first due to George Lucas's dissatisfaction with the scene, believing that it depicted Han as a cold-blooded killer. The scene was altered again on the 2004 DVD release, as well as another time for the 2011 Blu-ray release. The changes have sparked outrage amongst fans, giving birth to the phrase, Han shot first. In a 2014 interview, Harrison Ford was asked who shot first, and his reply was simply, I don't know and I don't care. Sorry about the mess. A young Han Solo was going to appear living with the Wookiees on Kashyyyk in Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, but the character was cut from the final script. Han's blaster is a Blastech DL44 blaster. It's based on the real-life German Mauser C96 pistol. It's not over yet. It is for me, sister. Look, I ain't in this for your revolution, and I'm not in it for you, princess. I expect to be well paid. I'm in it for the money. And here's a bonus one. In a 2004 Dark Horse comic titled Into the Great Unknown, Han and Chewie make a hyperspace jump that takes them to Earth. The Millennium Falcon crash lands in the Pacific Northwest, where Han remarks that it looks like Endor. Han and Chewie are attacked by Native Americans, Han is killed, and Chewie flees becoming the fabled Sasquatch. 126 years later, Han's body is discovered by Indiana Jones and Short Round. That's it for this episode of You Think You Know Movies. Make sure to subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and get the latest movie and TV news on ScreenCrush.com.